Good morning, everyone. So it is currently 10, 16 a.m. on October 1st. Uh, so we have a flight lesson later today at uh, 5.30 p.m. And what we're going to, if all things go according to plan, we're going to be flying from uh, Fullerton, California to um, El Monte, California, or uh, San Gabriel Valley, it's now called. Uh, so I just drew up here on ForeFlight a quick uh, flight plan that's just a direct route, um, nothing special. We're showing 13 nautical miles of uh, flight from direct Fullerton to uh, San Gabriel Valley. Um, I'm thinking flying at about 2,000 feet. We have uh, the Bravo shelf here for Los Angeles. Um, right here, it's the ceiling or the base is 4,000 feet here. And then uh, in this area here is 2,500 feet. So if we fly at 2,000 feet, we'd be uh, under that shelf pretty well off, um, not skirting into any of the Bravo uh, airspace. The only thing we have to deal with is a little mountain ridge here. So yeah, if we uh, click here on uh, San Gabriel Valley, we can look here at the uh, runway. We have 3,995 feet of runway length and 75 feet in width. So similar to Fullerton, a little longer. Um, I'm gonna expect runway 19. Um, typically the wind's gonna be coming somewhere from this direction, so that sets up uh, takeoff and landings from um, from runway 19. Uh, additionally, uh, right traffic pattern is flown for runway 19, but I'm gonna assume, but we will obviously uh, find out once we contact uh, El Monte Tower, but I'm gonna assume that they're gonna put us in for a left uh, downwind entry for 1-9 and then once we go through the pattern they'll put us on the right traffic. Um, here we can see our distance 13 nautical miles estimated fuel burn of two gallons uh, and we're showing a ETA oh, or an ETE of eight minutes so really quick flight um, but we're just going to be doing that and uh, getting experience at different airports so I will see you guys here in a few uh, well actually with the power of editing I will see you in one second but uh, in a few hours, I'm going to head to the airport, pre-flight the airplane, and get ready to head to El Monte. So see you guys there. Up to 
Five Alpha, one hotel kilo, for exchange grid. Frequency chase at Bruce, one hotel kilo. Right about here. Go ahead, start your turn. I feel like this plane's easier to maintain. It speed. is. I don't, yeah, it's the best in the fleet, I feel like, too. Yeah. Alright, so just make sure we don't cross into that line, because that's the 2500 Bravo. Okay, gotcha. Okay, once you roll out, go ahead, press direct, enter, enter. That's going to draw a line from where we are to El Monte. Bravo close due to construction. Advise on initial contact of information, Juliet. Yeah. Catch our record, Mission Mike, Sharon Fullerton, wind 250 and 8 on Juliet, 0 0 Wind 2 3 frequency change approved. Visibility 1 0. View clouds at 7000. Temperature 3 1, dew point 1 2. Altimeter 2 9 7 4. VOR Alpha approaching you. Landing runway 1 9 -er. Notice airman, taxi with Alpha. Okay, 2974, wind 220 at 8, so just go ahead and call El Monte, let them know you are about 9 miles out, south of the airport, 2500 inbound for pattern work with Julia. Alright, you saw me. Saw yep. me, okay, and we're how far out, do you say? Okay, uh, yeah, 9 miles. El Monte Tower, Cessna 80238, level at 2500 feet, we're about 9 miles south of the field, looking bound to land with Julia uh, for pattern work. Cessna 80238, El Monte Tower, make left traffic for runway 19er. Left traffic for runway 19er, 238. Okay, good. So let's figure out our pattern altitude is 1300 at El Monte. So once we pass these hills, We'll kind of slowly come down. Okay. Oh man, this is too smooth. I love it. There's nothing like special about that in terms of like if you can't mess anything up there. Just yeah, without the bumps and everything, it makes an altitude so easy. Yeah. Grim it out. Runway here, a little longer than Fullerton, same uh, 
same width. Yep. Runway 19 cleared for the option. Cleared for the option, runway 19 or 23. 19er is a what, proper way to say 19er. 19er. Okay, we're descending there, so let's wait till we are up the numbers. Oh, this is the 
part about here is good. It's gonna be on the right. Should be coming in here in a second. Oh, it's not working. Yeah. I don't even see him. Yeah, usually it's on the right side, but it's not on right now.
238, runway 19 is cleared for the option. Cleared for the option, runway 19 for 238. I almost like where I'm at with uh, this flag configuration. I don't know. I feel yeah. like. No, this is good. Like yeah. I'm pretty good here. Let's try landing with less flaps, you know, maybe 20 degrees max. max. Let's try just holding the correction in and okay. to the wind. And then once you land, more correction. Okay. Then rotate. Right rudder, right rudder. Right. Yeah, because the wind was kind of changing too. Yeah. That's, it kind of blew us. Outside air conditioning isn't as effective today. <laughs> <laughs> Modern. Yeah, weird with that really long threshold. Yep, so right about here, go ahead. Wait till we do a cross country to Camarillo. Why's that? Uh, the threshold is like. <laughs> Oh really? It's like a, a whole runway of its own. <laughs> Copter 96 Lima, about six miles to the east, request landing at the transient pad with information Juliet. Helicopter 96 Lima, El Monte Tower, enter left base, runway 19er. Roger, Helicopter 96 Lima. Try to pitch for 80 on the downwind. Two, three, runway one nine cleared for the option. Runway 
one minor cleared for the option for two grades. Alright, there's 80 for a beam. Got their carving. Tower transition up through the Almonte altimeter to minor seven five. Sure, twenty one, thanks. But once you land this time, just make sure that wind correction comes in more. Okay. Or the right. Okay, so if you're gonna do this, keep holding that left rudder, right a run. Hold this. That first landing, you were right. I, was, I should have said left. That's right. what I was like, yeah. what are you saying? Yeah, but, yeah. Okay, but now, yeah, because I meant to say right, A Ron, A -Ron. left rudder. Yeah. My nose was over here, and I was yeah, like, why yeah. are we? Why are we? Yeah. Okay. So, so you're right. <laughs> I'm wrong. <laughs> All good. Okay. But yeah, just keep that right rudder in on your climb. Right about here. Let's go ahead and turn. Commander 6121 Alpha is 8 miles to the east, landing with information Juliet. Commander 6121 Alpha, Almonte Tower, good evening, Ida. Ida, 21 Alpha. Oh, no. Commander 21 Alpha, enter left base, runway 19. Left base, 19, 21 Alpha. Helicopter 96 Lima, runway 19, cleared to land after landing. Have a taxi to transient helipad via Delta Alpha. Clear to land, 1-9, hover taxi, Alpha, Copter, 9-6, Lima. Clear to land, 1-9, hover taxi, Delta, Alpha, Copter, 9-6, Lima. Good, this is really good right here, just hold this. having a 
left cross when I'm down, uh, climb right, because I can feel it. Yeah, you feel it, yeah, pushing us there. I can see it just over the nose. Not crazy. Uh, two three eight, extend downwind. Tell her we'll call base. Extending downwind, you'll call my base for two three. Eight. All right, so we'll just maintain this. I like that. Yeah. Almighty Tower helicopter PD one. We're at a uh, the two ten six zero five at one thousand seven hundred. Requesting to work along the six zero five and up for potential brush fire. There. Helicopter PD-1, El Monte Tower, transition approved, the El Monte Altimeter, 2975. 2975, transition approved, PD-1. So what kind of correction? Trans-2-1, frequency change approved, have a good night. What kind of correction can we do? Sure, follow, thanks. Yeah. It's like a constant correction to keep our track very parallel, um, so just it's not squeezing. I saw so you can control that nose to where you want to go, right? Two, so. three, based on your discretion, number two, following helicopter short final, runway 19 cleared for the option. Okay, base turn to approved, and we're uh, cleared for the option, two, three, eight, runway 19er. Oh, myself. Okay. All right, let's go. Oh, yeah, I'm just slow here. RP. PD-1, traffic 11 o'clock, so two miles west bound, all the way to the end, and just base. click Commander, runner in, straight, and right, you can do that, that's it. That's the perfect amount of traffic, it won't be on the right, 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 Multiple aircraft transmit at the same time, PD-1, say again. We'll be looking for the traffic, and we'll be on station here right at the south end of our Santa Fe down. PD-1, Roger. Sounds back, I got the judgment. Yeah, that's uh, Commander 21 Alpha, traffic 3 o'clock, 1 mile, maneuvering helicopter, altitude indicates 1,300, just over the 605 freeway north northeast of Irwindale Speedway, off your right. Commander 21 Alpha, we have that traffic inside. Commander 21 Alpha, Roger. And PD1, I have them as well. PD1, Roger. And for now, just kind of hold this altitude. How much? Let's start pitching for that 60. Amonti Tower, Warrior 102, Delta Echo, uh, six miles east of the field at uh, 2,600 uh, inbound with Juliet. Warrior 102, Delta Echo, Amonti Tower, enter left base, runway 19er. Two Delta Echo, enter left base, runway 19er. Commander 2 and Alpha, number two, following a Cessna on a two mile final. Runway 19 er cleared to land, advise me of traffic in sight. A little bit more. And 2 1 Alpha, number 2 after Cessna. Yeah, so I saw some yeah, yeah, 2 1 Alpha, point mega goes to that number. Now 1 9 you're okay. And so 2 1 Alpha, truck to follow Cessna on a 1 mile final now. 2 1 Alpha. Power, Cover 96 Lima, the transient pads request self departure with Juliet. South after 96 Lima, El Monte Tower, southbound taxiway Alpha, cleared for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff, Cover 96 Lima. Wind 230 at 7. And about 40 degrees. Commander 2 on Alpha, traffic to follow short final. 2 on Alpha, still looking for traffic. I'll just keep coming down, yep. Just have the wind correction on that here on good. Just kind of keep coming down. Listen 238, traffic ahead and to your left, departing taxiway Alpha southbound. You're right, just departed runway 19er, Cessna. 
Far yep. right rudder. Because the nose kind of went right. Okay. Yeah, so with the right rudder now, just holding it center line. All right, rotate. I feel better about my round yeah. now, though. Yeah, your round out is good. Are you releasing pressure on your left rudder? Or are you pressing? Because what happened, I don't know if you noticed, it's like your nose, you know, it's crabbing, and then once you kick it in, but you probably overcompensate, the nose goes out that way, and then you try to bring it back. Okay, so. so kind of take note of that and see if. And Commander 6121 Alpha Pressure, one a 19er for uh, left cross departure. Commander 6121 Alpha, El Monte Tower, left cross departure approved, runway 19er cleared for takeoff. One iron, clear for takeoff, two one alpha. Is that what you're thinking, James? Like a more constant pressure on the rotor pedal? Yeah, so let's let's do the next one together. I kinda wanna okay. show you the sight picture. Okay. down level so that way you gain some air speed and then you pull power back to 2000. Okay. That way you'll be at 80. So not all together. Yeah. Okay, so uh, what would you say a good air speed? Maybe 80? 80 on downwind, that's the best. That's right when you go through your flow, right? Car P comes on, power right, 15, you you're at 80, you can go ahead. First notch of flaps. Gotcha. Good. Alright, so 
slowly reduce her power maybe to about 1200. Now just keep this nose pointing down. Oh. Hey, Almonte, tell her PD-1 we're going to load like to clear out to the east. Yeah, it's too strong. PD-1, frequency change proof. Have a good night. Keep coming down. Thanks for the help. Keep coming down. Coming down. Now just keep that power in. A little bit more. One right main wheel to land first. All right, power comes to idle. Yeah, right. keep this coming down. Just hold this level for now. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. And then now we put some correction. Okay, full power correction. Yep, so we got a little better picture on that. It's just kind of way, 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 eventually the plane's going to come down. And just yeah, so wind's coming this way, you want your right to touch down first, and then left. Okay. Is there any like perfect world scenario where you can get both wheels on the ground at the same time, or it's pretty much every time you're going to have that right down? Uh, if you or have a straight you're... headwind, then... Well, I'm saying with a crosswind, then. With the crosswind... Just if you're lucky. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you want, but you want the the main wheel going into the wind first. Like, so if that wind's coming right, you want your right main to land and then left. That's the best scenario. That's how you want to land okay. into a crosswind. Alright, let's do a couple more and we'll head back. Okay. You want to do a power off? Yeah. 2-3, requesting short approach. Cessna 2 3 runway 1-9 are cleared for the option, short approach crew. 1-9 are cleared for the option, short approach crew. 2-3. Alright. Right rudder, right rudder. 
Fire speed's alive, rotate. That's such an eerie feeling, not having power. Oh, right. But I mean, it's good. It's something you should practice. Uh -huh. It just is. So watch that bomb. Right, right. Need to, I, I keep forgetting that when I'm full power, I need a lot more than I just normally would. This is a T3, runway 19 clear for the option. Runway 19 clear for the option for T3. Just make sure, you know, keep that nose wheel off, off the ground. Full stop or just... Uh, if you could land, you know, pretty close to the threshold of the numbers, then we could just do a okay. touch and go. And with the soft field, you keep a little more power than usual, right? Exactly. the power, leave it to about 12 or 1300. Hold it, hold it. I need 
right, right. Attention all aircraft, I'm on your Porter Vision Kilo, it's current, wind 2105, is Billy 10, few clouds at 7000, altimeter 2, 9 or 75. Let's go ahead. Do you see how that nose just kind of kicked to so that one just right about her and then keep the nose up, right, so that's... Okay, here, let me get in a stabilized climb here and then walk me through that again. Okay, let's do that. Approach, everything was great. Yeah, it, it felt good on the approach, yeah. and I felt good up until I was maybe 10 feet above the ground, then I, it kind of got a little wonky. Oh. Alright, I feel good. What what you think? But that one just kind of holding that crown effect, eventually it's going to come. You heard that stall warning go up, just hold it, hold it, hold it. Now smoothly bring back that power, right? That okay. From 1200 all the way to idle. And now once it touches, just elevate it back. Okay. So what? What's the things I didn't do there? Uh, so what happened was you let the nose went to the left. So okay. you got to make sure you kick in some right rudder on that one to hold that at least center. And then you let the elevator drop once you went. So elevator back pressure, we need more of that. Okay. All right, let's turn. Right rudder again. Oh, we said about 89084. I'll be short of uh, one yeah, nine. Uh, ready for departure, right, left turn. 7904, Almighty Tower, right, close chart for third runway 19, clear for takeoff. Then go ahead and ask for a straight up departure for this one. 238, runway 19, clear for the option. Runway 19, can we get a straight up departure and mark clear for the option? System 23, I understand after this option you would like a straight up departure. Affirm, right. Hey, affirm. Roger. This is area 4, runway 19, clear for the option number 2, follow Cessna right down, one ahead, turning base. 19, clear for the option number 2, in sequence, they work for me. Traffic, 
very slowly back off the power to about 1200. Yeah, there's 1200. Back more. Just oh, yeah, I thought that was it. You're coming down. Alright. Hit some left rudder in the correction. Right about here. Good. Now just hold it, hold it way. Right. Back to power now. Up a little hard. So kind of high. Alright. I'll try again at Fullerton. Okay. Rotate. Wind 2104. Like a 160 for now. Elmonte Tower, Skyhawk 3307, echo request. Skyhawk 3307, echo, Elmonte Tower. Hello, Skyhawk 172, thank off. I believe if I'm at Rose Hills, I'd like to transition to Southwest uh, Delta at 2.3. Five zero seven echo transition approved as requested with monitor two nine or seven six. So I can't see anything behind those hills right now, so let's get us a DX climb. Just from zero eight four runway one nine or taxi be off. Remain with me. I'm probably your problem. Probably should carry on that climb. You can even pitch up this high right here. Hold it. Sky zero seven echo. Are you going to be uh, transitioning six zero five north to the? Uh, there we go. Much better. So just. Uh, we're kind of just, uh, I know there's a Dodger Stadium TFR. We're starting on our way to uh, Van Nuys, so we're just heading towards kind of uh, east of Burbank. Sky Clear 7, Nick, arrive. Right, go ahead, press this button, flight plan. Push down. Here? Yep. Direct enter, enter. Direct enter, enter. Yep, yep, that's the main menu, so. I'll show you. Direct, okay. enter, enter. Oh, I hit menu, not. You hit menu. Oh, okay. All right, you can do a VUI climb. So we'll just kind of go to 2,000. We should climb. That's what, uh, 68, 69? Uh, yeah, 75, like it's 72, but... What heading is it giving us? Uh, roughly a 154. Like what are we thinking? Just we're a 238 traffic. Two o'clock, two miles, north, westbound, Cessna altitude indicates 2,400. Three can change approved. Look at the traffic. Uh, level out here. Uh, north, westbound. So, so. Then temperature 282.9 or I'll center 2974. We are off approach and east arriving, uh, departing runway 24. Yeah. So we say I'm in runway 24 localized or DME out of service. Runway 24 approach lighting system, pilot controlled lighting feature out of service. Runway 6, runway end identifier lights out of service. As this weather information is available, I'm going to report to the frequency. Advise on initial contact, you have information November. Uh, November. Four and information November 0153, Zulu, wind 2905, visibility 10, feeling 11,000 broken temperature. Alright, that's fine, full attempt. So we got November. 2974 is our altimeter. So full attempt's about nine miles away. Enter, enter. One five five. Rough heading of uh, yeah, one five five should get us there. So go ahead, make a call. Let them know we're eight point eight miles north of the airport, inbound with November. You uh, swapped us already. Yep, we're on full attempt. Fullerton Tower, Cessna 80238, approximately 8 miles north of the field level at 2500, inbound to land with November. Cessna 80238, full and time, make right traffic, runway 24. Right traffic for runway 24, 23. 
Cherokee 3 0 Whiskey, Connect Silk out of Archer. Have a good flight. Why? 3 0 Whiskey going to departure. Good night. Green. Yep. See you. Okay. Got it. That's cool. Okay. Mind taking the controls for a few seconds? Sure. I'd like to get a picture. Over to Tower, that's not good for Over Los Al at 1800 feet. Inbound with November. Six four 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 six zero. Good evening, full entire left traffic, runway two four. Left traffic, runway two four. Six four four six zero. Right on. Did I show? I show you a soft field landing before, right? Uh, Chino. Yeah. Uh, we did soft field at, at Fullerton last time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, landing, right? Yeah. Okay. So. All right, my controls. Okay. Your flight controls. Cessna 460, traffic 2 o'clock, 2 miles, maneuvering helicopter 900 oh, indicated. Huh? Looking at the traffic, Cessna 6460. I thought he was talking to us for a second. Night moves. Cessna 6460, traffic in sight. Cessna 460, thank you. Alright, should we get a landing line going here? Uh, let's figure it. What's that? You could okay, well, yeah. get ready because we're about five miles out. Go through your foe, make sure you know fuel selector is full. Oh, the trim is good. Uh, right make now. sure it's rich. Carpet, yeah, rich. Up, Right, joint base? Uh, joint right traffic. Right traffic, okay, so you want to come just fly a base on it. Uh, try to get 500 feet per minute descent rate going. There we go. Runway 24, clear to land, wind 2606. Clear to land, 24, 64460. Where are they? Uh, you uh, zoom in, and is this the right one? Uh, uh okay. So I know. Yep, left zoom in, zoom out. Number two, follow a Skyhawk in the left downwind. Runway 24, Kirtland, wind 2605. Okay, we'll be number two behind the uh, Skyhawk in the downwind. Clear to land, runway 24, two, three. So off the other side, left downwind.
flight review of our flight here today. Uh, so I loaded this up here in Google Earth and we can see here uh, the path and altitudes that we actually uh, ran today. So you can see we taxied out uh, onto the runway, we took off, made a right cross from departure toward the north, toward El Monte, uh, and you can see we leveled out here at 2500 feet 
And then once we got over the mountains here, we started a 500 foot per minute descent, made a left traffic uh, to land at El Monte, do touch and go, and then proceeded to do right traffic patterns uh, for all of our landings. Once we completed that, we headed back to Fullerton and entered the right traffic pattern and landed. You can see here our uh, relation to the rest of uh, Southern California. You can also see how close we were to Los Angeles. And you probably saw the skyline in some of the shots as we were turning our right crosswind in El Monte. Now we can also see here some statistics about the flight itself. We covered 86 nautical miles. Um, we also did a total time of an hour and 41 minutes. Now I started that probably 10 minutes before the flight, so we'll say an hour and a half of flight time. Uh, flight time not including taxis, there you go, an hour and 20 minutes of actual flight time. Uh, and then our average ground speed was 65 knots. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I, uh, some of the things that I need to work on watching this video is adding a wind correction as soon as I touch down. I need to add the wind correction. In this case, I need to add right aileron to uh, compensate for the right crosswind that we were encountering. Another thing that I need to work on is on my climb out to add more right rudder than what I am. I am adding right rudder because that is the uh, natural tendency of the aircraft is to go left on takeoff due to the uh, torque and the um, prop wash actually hitting the tail. So it causes the airplane to move left if you didn't know that. Um, so you have to add right rudder. And in my climb out, even though I am adding right rudder, I need to add a lot more right rudder to keep the ball centered. And unfortunately the camera doesn't show that too well. Um, but here in the next video, we are going to be going to Camarillo Airport and doing a cross country in which I'm going to actually add another GoPro camera. So we're going to have three camera angles. Uh, it's going to be awesome. On the way up there, we're going to navigate via VOR. And then on the way back, we're going to navigate just uh, strictly with visual landmarks. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out Fun Outside Aviation. They are the flight school that is uh, getting me through my training currently. And uh, be sure to uh, ask for James. James is my instructor and he is doing a great job. So uh, with that being said, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day.